Hey my beauty family, this is Valia Channel. Uh, in today's video, I will do for you that look. As you see, it is a very nice full glam look. That in this look, I will explain you in detail, step by step, what you have to do, especially my friends, if you are beginners, to have this special result. So, if you wanna know how this video goes down, carry on watching. And let's get right into it, my friends. I have filled in my brows as usual with my Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the shade Medium Brown Pencil, which is a very thin pencil, especially if you are a beginner, which helps you to define your brows very, very nicely, easily, blending well, and from the other side, it is fully. Then I have cleaned up the under brow area with my Fit Me Maybelline in the shade 20. And the upper brow area with my Ulta Complete Cover Foundation. I have prepared my lid with the same concealer by Fit Me, maybe in the set 20. And then I have set up with my pressed powder by Sabrina Rudnik. These are all the preparation before I wear my saddle. In today's video, I will do for you a full glam look. Especially a full glamorous look with many details for you who are beginners. Watch me out. In this look, I will take my Ultras Gel Liner. I'll show you a new technique. A new for you, old for me, but I haven't shown you in my channel. I will take this by Cosmo Fan number 211. This is a very, as you see, flat angled brush. And I will use a gel liner in this technique to do it. I'll show you right away. You need only gel liner. You cannot do it with a liner like this with a pen. The most times I do my eyeliner with a pen. Now I will start from the gel liner onto the outer cone. I will show you right away what you're gonna do and never use a pen liner. This technique is uh, doing only with the liner. Taking with this very angled brush some of the gel liner and I'm going to take an eyeliner. Trying from the outer corner, always pull away a line from the under part of the eye, the waterline, and pull a line under the brow, a straight line. As you see, this is a line. The line has to end where is our crease point. Just like that. Not over line, not liner short. But to tell you the truth, I will do a liner for you, but it does not have to be perfect because later we're gonna match. But I'm showing you the right way to do and the liner. And then I'm trying to do a liner onto the root. A thin liner. And you see? This is doing only with gel liner, not other liner. You cannot do it with other liner. And I'm doing from the outer corner till the inner corner an angle. I'm telling you again, it has not to be perfect. You don't need that. not to be very perfect. And of course, over that, immediately, because the uh, liner is getting dry very fast, we are taking a Cosmo Fan number 112. This is a pencil brush, a little long, a little thing. I have other pencil brushes to show you. This is another pencil brush. As you see, it is bigger and thicker. We need a pencil brush smaller than the other, than the classic. And I'm taking a matte black shadow from 
My Cali Beauty, I'm taking on the edge a black matte shadow to match the eyeliner. This is the technique. So it does not have to be fabric. And I'm trying to match it inside the line. Inside the lid. We are going to do a match. It is very easy for you to do it. I know it is getting a little thick black, but it is easy, nice, and you will see that we're gonna do it very, very nice. Just take a black matte shadow and match it inside. I'm gonna do the same to my other eye. The most times when I want to do an eyeliner for you beginners, when you want to do a look with only an eyeliner, I have told you to choose the pen liner. It is more easy for you if you are a beginner, but if you want to do, to make that technique, you need only the liner. And never this base, uh, leave it without that, close it quickly because it's getting dry very soon. I'm done and there a line. And then onto the root. To tell you the truth, when I want to do just a liner, in every look I'm doing, doing, doing I, would, I would not use this liner. I use that liner when I want to do that technique. It is easy, it is very nice, it is a full glam look, of course. It is intense and it is a full glam look. So, this look you can wear only in special events. In the night, when you go out to a party, to a special event, for Christmas, for every time of the season, that it is a special event. This is not an everyday look, as we understand. But I like this black technique. And then, I will take the same black only when you want to smudge a liner or something. Some shadow other always take matte shadows. And taking the pencil brush we took later, uh, before, and starting to smudge inside. When we no, we say that we match the shadow, we uh, do the shadow, we put it inside the lid, not outer. Of course, you could uh, match it with an, a brown, deep brown uh, shadow, but on this look I prefer the black. And over that, I will take a blending brush by Tommy G, a good, always clear, not uh, dirty, clear, and start to smudge better the shadow after that, because we're going to apply and other shadows together. This is a very nice technique. It is like a smoky eye, and it is not a smoky eye together, and only to tell you the truth, if you have in your complexion, in your beauty case, uh, the classic shadows, the browns, uh, in every shade, uh, the blacks, you can do very, very nice look. You don't need, if you are a beginner, or I'm a makeup artist, I need more shadows. If you don't, uh, I'm not a makeup artist, you don't need many shadows, take a palette, choose a palette that has only the basic colors, browns and blacks are the basic colors and you can do many, many nice uh, looks. I smart it more, as you see. And then after that, I will take with my 
I brought one little fold from the same palette. I will take this with it, a deep brown matte saddle. And what I'm gonna do? Take the excess of, I'm gonna smart the black inside the inner corner into the crease. As you see, I smart then the black and turn it on the inner corner. Beautiful, very, very beautiful this technique and look. I love, love, love this look. Always look at this is a saddle palette which has brown, black, purple and uh, light nude colors. If you have brown, black, nude colors, you have the perfect palette and the black liner and the black mascara and you are okay for every look. You don't need much if you are a beginner. As you see, I'm continuing to smudge the black liner and saddle inside with a matte uh, saddle, brown saddle. And of course, on the inner lid, if you want, leave it and sit. If you want, take, I will take this which is a light matte nude color with my wet and wild concealer brush, which is flat brush. No, I will use my Cosmofan flat brush, which I'm using when I do well, I do apply on the inner lid uh, saddle and taking this which is a very light nude color and do some inside the inner corner. I apply some of that. In this look, because I don't want to ruin the black, I do not do a cut crease. I apply just a few. Uh, I think you haven't applied, you must not apply, uh, do a cut crease because it will be ruined all the black result we want to give. Just apply on the inner lid some nude saddle. And especially if you are a beginner, choose matte saddles at the beginning of your career. Always have black mascara, black liner, a nude eyeshadow palette. I told you the um, color and you are safe for every circumstance. In this look, of course, as you see, the black is intense, so I will not apply a black liner. It's not necessary. Just <coughs> getting some uh, French coffee because I'm working and I have to work today uh, all the day. We're almost ready. Just taking my highlighter palette infallible and I will take some of this some pen highlighter to apply under the brow bone. Don't need much. And another tip. Our look is warm tone look. So we have to apply all the products on our face to be in warm undertone colors. If you want to do a cool tone look, all your products will be in cool tone colors and highlighter and blushes and lipstick all. But today we are doing a um, warm look. Uh, what else? After that, just to correct a little the brow because they are a little ruined and it is not uh, natural from so many saddles. Today my recommendation for you, beginners, it is a beginner's friendly makeup tutorial for you. I will do for you, I'm doing a full glam look. I'm showing you my technique. I'm a makeup artist and I want you, my friend, to learn the technique. You have first to learn the technique with the basic movement and then go on with your experience, the time of the year, to go on to another more difficult look, more difficult shade, um, a difficult shade for you the blue. Don't try it at the beginning of, the, of your career. Try more simple, black, brown, um, nude color. They are more safe for you. Now I'm going to wear lashes and I will wear 
I will wear in 10 classes on that look, of course, before. To tell you another tip, I wear lashes in the most of the looks, but it is not necessary for you. Necessary for you is to take a lash curler and try to curl your natural lashes and then apply a mascara, a black mascara. It is enough for you. But the most times I, as a makeup artist, I want to use and classes. And in this video, I will wear intense class. I will show you right away how they are. The lashes I will wear are these. As you see, I will put them out to show you how they are. These are the lashes I will wear. They are and big and thick because my look is full glam. If you want a look that it is soft glam, don't wear lashes, especially if you are a beginner. Or wear some very, very soft, very thin lashes. Or, and don't wear them, it is very good for you. So, I'm going to apply before the lashes my Voltex Mon Reeve Astonishing Lashes Mascara. This is a new mascara. Uh, Mon Reeve, it is a new brand that I have found, discovered lately, and it is and affordable. This mascara has only six and thirty six fifty. I don't remember uh, euros. Mon Reeve, you can find in the site. They have a site www.monreeve.part.com. Uh, it is their site. As you see, Mon Reeve. I will apply my mascara, which is a very black. It has a silicone brush. Do you see? I like these brushes when I want to separate very nice my lashes. And then I'm going to wear my lashes off camera and coming back, my friends. My lashes are ready. I will not do a mascara on the false lashes. I have told you that it on the upper false lashes because as you see, they are big and thick. I will not wear mascara. It will be ruined the last. <coughs> Excuse me. Going to continue <coughs> with my face studio prime, protecting primer, STM30. Always primer moisturizing for my skin because I have combo to dry skin. So I want and I need to moisturize my face. Of course, before I start my makeup, I have done the whole daily skincare routine. I have told you about my skincare routine. I have done all these steps before I started my makeup, as you have seen in the previous video. And starting to apply Ultra's Complete Cover Foundation Complete and True Skin Hydrating Foundation 030 Neutral Sun. I will wear two <coughs> foundations. I will apply some of that on the back of my hand and then taking my Real Techniques 200 Expert Face Brush and starting to apply the product. Of course, the first I am applying it with my brush, but then continuing to apply with my Wet Insist Wet Beauty Blender. And of course, Everything we do on our face, we apply all the product on our ears. And you see, we have to have the same, we must have the same color and down on my neck because we have, we must have the same color. Going to apply it and coming back. This is my wet beauty blender. Continue with my Nick Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Taking some product for my inner corner, some for the outer corner. On the nose. Two lines as a mini lift near the mouth. Some product on the mustache area. And some product, you don't need much because this is a complete cover, I have to say. On the thin area. And always, for my opinion, of course, want to apply uh, with a beauty blender. Of course, you can use 
and the brush. But I prefer the Beauty Blender to apply the whole concealer. And as we have told, foundation and concealer are the gel lighter, drying very fast. So we have to do gentle motion, but soft motion, but quick motion to apply the product. Because it's gonna, uh, up, if we don't do that, this is gonna get dry, then we cannot apply the product. As you see, the most easy way to apply it with a beauty blender, or my opinion, of course. But, and if you um, want to apply it with a brush, apply, start with a brush, and then continue with the beauty blender. It will be blending very, very nicely and very well. Still, the lowest point of our neck, as you see. What else we have to do? I told you that it is a full glam, so I will use and liquid blushing. MUA Makeup Academy Blast Watermelon and Minty Rose. A lighter, a deeper, peach color. I will apply some product on the back of my hand, a few of that, not a few. And taking this brush, smudging the product, blending it on the back of my hand, and then applying it on tap, tap, tap motion, quick, glowy tap, tap, tap motion on the stick. But always apply the product on the hand, not right away on the stick, so I can take the quantity I need and take off the excess of the quantity. Although, don't be afraid, and if it's gonna do for you, it's gonna get uh, very, very dark, we're gonna fix it with a powder later. This is the way that we apply the liquid blush. And we start from the inner part of the nose, inside, and tap, 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 on to the other part of the eye. This is the right way to apply the liquid concealer, as you see. Tap, tap, tap motion, quick and soft. And put the other eye. So, on the nose. This is our uh, liquid. Of course, you can avoid that step. To tell you another tip if you have an oily skin, oily, oily skin, very oily, avoid cream product. You need very powdery product to do a matte resort. If you have a dry skin like me, combo to dry, and combo skin I have to say, with some parts dry, use a liquid product because we need more hydration. But if you want that very, very matte result and you are very, very oily, avoid the liquid product and go on with powdery products and cream and, and bronzes and uh, uh, blushes and most powdery products. Um, I don't have a cream contour, so I continue with my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Caramel Toffee. I have a powdery product in contouring in my eyebrow level. Take the excess and the contouring. Another step. We take this fluffy big brush. Take the product, take off the excess and apply the contouring from the inner part of the eye as you see, the outer part of the eye, under our six, where is our bone, my bone is here, so I apply it from the outer part above the um, ear, and starting till this part, I do where is um, ending my bone, so you have to meet it from that part of your ear, till there is ending, my thick bone, so I put it on that uh, part of the thick, the contouring, as you see, not on over the blush, on that part of the thick, this is my contouring. Then we take some on the forehead, as you see, with that way, we don't need to put a lot of product, that we want this sunburned look. And some on the jaw line and down on our neck. So you start from that part of the ear till where is your 
ending of your thick bone. This is the right way. And of course taking that angled bra, fluffy big angled bra, and taking the same product, I have the same powder product. And starting to measure to do our nose contouring. Starting from the inner part of the brow and do a straight line on the ending of the nose. Do a straight line. This is uh, the right way to do contouring on your nose. And a little on the lower part. But from the inner part of the brow till a straight line on your nose. Over that, I will apply a bronzer, my MUA Bronze Perfection, with the same way and the same brush over the other. I will not apply bronzer on my nose, I have to do the contouring with the contouring product. We don't need bronze on your nose, just a tip, not like this. Coffee because I work too much today. Mm -mm -mm. Blush. I have applied liquid product, so I need and the powder product. Scanlon 03. Eyebrow 11. A very, very nice strawberry color. It is a little intense. Highlighter, infallible. Eyebrow 105, infallible. Sun paint highlighter. On the cheeks. On the temple. On the cupid bow. And with a smaller brush, where is this? this. Eyebrow 103, this is a smaller brush. Taking some of that, applying a dot on the nose and some highlighter on the between the brows. We don't need much of that. Do some bake. I will do some bake to show you how it is done. It is not necessary, but if you want to do some bake, going to apply with eyebrow translucent powder. The poof that has inside, taking some product. Clear. I have to clean up the under thick area under contouring area, some on the chin, if you are, as I have told you, very very oily, do a bake on the master's area, between the brows, on the forehead some of that and some on the inner part of the eye and leave it for two minutes. And near the part of the nose. I have to clear with my contour in my nose. Then I will apply just a few with my beauty blender on the nose. As you see, this we have to leave it about two minutes. Don't need much. This is the baking. I'm cleaning my hand from the liquid glasses. What else I'm gonna do? I'm going to end up, as I am leaving the baking powder, I'm going to end up with my under eye area and taking with this pencil brush that I have used on the, under my over my eye, I'm taking the black shadow, applying on the outer, on the outer part of the eye, bottom part of the eye. Then I will take the brown shadow and I will match the black. Some highlighter for the inner corner. Mm 
and some on the brow. I do some on because we have said that it is a full glam. Then liner, romantic rain. On the bottom line, waterline, and some on the upper waterline. Of course now, I will take the extent of the powder with my Ida 11. It is enough the time we have left it. Taking in some compact powder to apply on all the face, of course. Everything we apply on the ears and on the neck. We have told that. Because we want to have the same color on every area of the face, skin. Coffee. Vortex, Mon Rive Mascara. Only on the bottom lashes. One coat, not much. Very, very nice, nice mascara. Lips, and we are done. Classic red lips. Elixir lip pencil, 043. Classic deep red pencil. I have told you for you beginners, don't start to overline your lips. You don't have the experience. You don't know if it matters to you. So, Start to do your natural line of the lip, and then we're gonna see how it goes. Ustas matte lipstick, classic red, blood red lipstick. To tell you another tip, sometimes we have a lip pencil. Maybe it is ruined. Maybe we can find where it is. Maybe it is finished. So what we do, take a classic lipstick, as you see it is angled here, and starting to do with the angled part, like this, as you see, like this, our lip, and we shape the line of the lip. It is made more more easy for you. And the last step, fixing spray for the Vita makeup, fixing spray. We need fixing spray, we have told that it is necessary. So we can make our makeup look last during all the day. I take the excess of the product because it is looking wet. My friend, well my friend, it is a full glam look, a duty intense look. I have told you, it is a full glam look. I explain you in every detail all the steps in detail, step by step that you have to do. Intense look. It is not for everyday look. It is for some special event look. And for Christmas I have to say. Although, uh, this is my recommendation for you for today. My friend, if you like that video, give it some thumbs up, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and ring the notification bell. And stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Love you, my friends!